Hello students, welcome to this video tutorial on Trivia Question Test Part 2. In the first part of this video, we learned how to create or construct a good trivia question and to provide four examples. So it's basically a multiple choice question. We also learned how to program each answer to go to a specific slide. So today we're going to incorporate the 50-50 option. Now if you've ever seen the TV show called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? or if you've ever played it on the Wii or PlayStation or on a PC version, you know that this game had a 50-50 option. So what the 50-50 option does is it eliminates two of the answers. So we're going to learn how to do that today. Okay, so I want you to make sure that you've got your file open. I've got my file here. And I want you to click on the second slide or whatever slide it is that had your question. So we need to duplicate that slide. So let's go up to File and duplicate slide. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the original slide that had my question. You'll notice that there are now two slides with the same information. So I want you to go back to your original slide and then we're going to insert a text box. So let's insert a text box and I'm going to place it right here in the middle of my four options. But you can find a different place for it. So I'm going to put in 50-50. Okay, now you can dress up the font, you can center it, you can bold it, I'm going to bold it, and then using the align button, I'm going to center it in terms of left and right, and then I can also center it in terms of up and down, its position in the text box itself. Okay, so I've got it perfectly centered. All right, so let's create, sorry, let's create uh, a box around it, so let's go to insert, and let's go to shape and again I'm going to choose the most basic shape you can experiment okay I'm going to create the shape around that text box here okay now because I created the shape it's going to appear over the text box so again I'll go to arrange order send backwards okay so what we need to do is we need to program this button to go to the next slide. So what we can do is, we in the, in the previous video, what we did was we programmed the outer edge of the shape. But I'm going to give you a different option. Now, a lot of times when we're using um, uh, an interactive slideshow, we actually like to click on the text. So this time, I want to click on the text box. You see how this highlights the text box? If I wanted to click on the very edge, I'd have to click on the shape there. So this time, we're going to do something a little bit different, and I'm going to click on the text box. All right, you know how to do this. Let's go to Insert Link. Okay? And what we want to do is we simply want it to go to the next slide, the duplicate of the slide. So let's click on Next Slide and then click apply. Okay, so now let's go to the next slide and because the 50-50 option eliminates two of the answers, let's eliminate two of these boxes. Okay, so in my video, in my question, I know that the correct answer is India. India is the second most populated country in the world. So, if I wanted to make it challenging, I'm going to eliminate maybe the less, the least obvious options. But in this case, because the question is quite difficult, it is the second most populated country, all of the options are pretty, um, they're all pretty challenging. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to eliminate one of these answers by clicking on it and hit delete. And then I may have to clean this up and delete the text box as well. And then I'm going to eliminate this answer and eliminate this text box. So now I've got two of the answers remaining. Now, because I duplicated the slide, all of the programs, pro programming should be correct. So the wrong answer should still go to the slide that says, I'm sorry, you are not correct. And the correct answer, if you click on it, should still go to the slide that says, yes, you are correct. Even though we added a slide, the programming still should remain. All right, so let's test it. So let's go to the second slide. Let's go to present. 
And let's try that 50-50 option. And let's see if it goes to that second slide that has the 50-50 options. Now, if I just go back, I've already tested this slide in the previous video. I know that all of these work. So what I want to do is I want to test that these new links work. So if I click on the wrong answer, it should go, I'm sorry, you are not correct. And then if I want to go back and test the correct answer, India, yes, you are correct. Okay? So we've just added the 50-50 option. So again, you can dress it up. You can make it as fancy as you like. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.